Yeah, how many hours on this thing? How many hours? Uh, 10.9. Alright, so you put about 8 hours on it? Yeah. So uh, after putting 8 hours on it, what's your uh, first impression on this new Bobcat R Series T76? I love it. What do you like about it? I like the new door design, how you can have the boom up a little more. I still be able to get out of the machine. It's here you got way more room. Really good visibility when you're sitting in there, you can see all, corner to corner of the bucket. Super nice. I love the new track design on here. It floats really good. It's uh, super nice. Do you think the torsion suspension floats better than the, the roller suspension? I, I, I think it does, yeah. I think it's a little less bumpier. Yeah. What do we got for accessibility back here? Uh, really good. It's like maybe a little bit easier to work on than the older ones. The battery isn't in the back, it's actually up under the cab, but they do have cables run out, so if you ever need to jump anything, you don't gotta flip up the cab to get to the battery or anything to, if you need to, do need to jump something. It's a 74 horse, it's weighs, weighs around 10,000 pounds. Um, it doesn't doesn't have death fluid, so it's uh Overall, I mean overall, uh, what, are you about, like, what are a bunch of the big improvements compared to uh, like a 2018 Uh I don't know, mainly probably the inside. Yeah, there's a lot of So they, they have a cast iron, cast iron uh, arm, you can see right here we're pulling it in. So I mean there's from here forward, it's cast iron, pretty nice. I guess the lift, lift cylinders. I guess the lift cylinders are a little more tipped back, so a little bit better breakout force. Some I don't know if you ever, if you need more breakout force or if you're digging up, digging up concrete or something. It's got all LED lights, super bright, super good for a night. 80 inch dirt bucket on here on a 595. We're uh, on a 72. Here's the inside, same kind of joysticks. They got these little orange, little orange uh, decals and everything kind of spruces things up a little bit. Over here in this column, you got your just the essentials, um, wipers, bob, bob tech up and down. Um, you got a little cubby up there for your phone or whatever. Um, you got some more vents. You got your screen, so everything is some cool graphics right there. Everything on your screen is right here. Um, all, your, all your controls, your radio, you hook your phone up to it, all your gauges, you can Bluetooth your phone to it. Down here you got your start, um, start, stop, uh, green button to go, parking brake lights, auxiliary. Uh, RPMs, and you got your radio. Yeah, all the other stuff right there, and your joystick. And then uh, you got your heating controls. They move the heating controls up to the top up here. Um, got your heating, air conditioning up there. And uh, yeah, overall, really spacious cab. Really good visibility. I mean, overall, the, the cab is extremely comfortable. You can see really good how this door. The other, other one kind of, the other door kind of came like this. This one kind of dips down, so you can. You can see right here I'm sitting, like you can see the cutting edge perfectly all the way across, super nice. So, yeah, I mean, I spent I spent about four hours in this machine and overall it was great, super powerful, um, super quick, super comfortable to ride it. I mean, this is probably pretty close to the nicest skid money can buy at this time, at this point in time, I would say. Uh, a big shout out and thanks to Zico Big Lake. Without them uh, offering us, uh, without let them letting us demo this machine for a few days, this video uh, wouldn't be possible. So a big shout out and thank you to Zico uh, Big Lake. Dealer, good dealer support is everything. All right, let's get this thing loaded up and uh, dropped off. All right, folks, so that's just a, just a quick overview. Just a quick overview of this machine. Overall, great machine. The five-link torsion suspension is really good. Super cushiony. Um, another, another big thing to note is, uh, is the track is, there's quite a bit more room down in here than our 595, so a lot of dirt, a lot of dirt just falls out instead of building up. Like our 595, the thing just cakes full, and uh, you always gotta scrape it out where a lot more dirt tends to just fall out of this, this track suspension here instead of just building up in there. So we are gonna wait until the, so this is the replacement to the T770. We are going to wait till the T66 comes out. That'll be the replacement to the 595. We'll demo that one and if, on our next track loader purchase, it'll likely be a T66, so. All right, that's uh, just a quick, quick overview of this machine overall it's a beast thanks so much for watching this video guys let me know what you think of the new bobcat r series in the comments below let me know if you have any experience with these let me know what you'd like to see in the future thanks so much for watching 
I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, and comment. Let me know who's watching. I like to know, I like to know uh, who's watching. So just comment, hey Gary, how's it going? Comment anything down below. It helps me out, and uh, that's really why I make these videos to interact with you guys. So thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and remember, in order to get results, no one else is getting. You must do things no one else is doing. Peace. All right, guys. If you'd like to see this machine in action, head on over to Stanley Dirt Monkey Genetics channel. He will be uploading a video very soon of this machine in action.